All right, so it's like the most perfect snow bike day ever out right now. And I figured what better time to break in the new giveaway than today. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm pretending I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't gonna ride it, but damn, this thing looks fun, and I'm probably gonna try it out. This thing is way too fast for my doings, but hopefully the owner of this is a way better rider than me. So, you know the drill, cboystv.com, buy merch, every $5 spent gets you one entry to win this bike, and uh, I think we're gonna start the day. Let's get into it. So, if you guys remember, uh, this past summer we went to a place called Custom Offsets in Appleton, Wisconsin, and we met these two dudes. As you guys would also remember, I recently got a Raptor, and the stock just, it's just not doing it. I mean, it doesn't look as cool, and uh, function, I'm getting stuck in the middle of snow fields. Yeah, it just doesn't reason. do it. Anyway, I hit these guys up. We got Fuller, and we got Banker, the man that builds them, and then the uh, marketing genius yeah. behind <laughs> it. And they were like, you know what? We'll hook you guys up, and we'll come to you. And now we're gonna give them the Sea Boys experience. Okay, so we found out last night that the custom offsets truck has a train horn on it and it's extremely loud. So we're all camping out right now, waiting for Ryan to come into work and then uh, we're gonna try and like scare him with it. Also, the windows are extremely tinted on here so like he's not gonna be able to see in. We just love with Ryan's hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I it, like I was just sitting here. I'm like, man, I'm just glad I'm not responsible this time. Like, it's gonna blame someone else. Yeah. Me. Okay, if we get him, we gotta go around and get some more people around town. Oh, here he is. Here he is. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, yeah. He doesn't see us. He doesn't see us. Right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Noises, <laughs> dude. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so <laughs> sick of it. My ears are just like, screw you, Ryan. Ears, I know we should get Ryan as his uh, gift. Hearing Here he aids. <laughs> <laughs> I was just hoping for earplugs. Yeah, much <laughs> cheaper. Thanks, bro. All right, we're gonna go mess with more people. Yeah. We'll be back. Bye. Bye. So, is it like a straight up train horn? It, it's a straight up horn blasters train horn. Oh my god. Hey, it costs 2,800 bucks. Seriously? Yeah, dude. I was like, what? It, it, it might be worth it to put it in our truck. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. You gotta check this truck out. Pretty gnarly, huh? Yeah, that thing is just like. <laughs> Holy shit. I love how he just went straight. I was like, man, that's gonna be really loud. I gotta go change my underwear. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh my god. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> It's too bad we live in such a small freaking town, dude. We have like literally nobody to get. <laughs> All right, so Banker's about to just jump right into it. It's not a huge build, so it shouldn't take more than a couple hours, realistically, but that's if we have no problem. So I'm gonna just stay out of Banker's way and let him do what he does best, and then I'll show you the final product at the end, kind of go over all the parts that we installed, and then maybe go hoon it a little bit, see how it does in the snow. <laughs> Hey bro. Hi. Yo, I wanna get your I wanna get your opinion real quick. How does this look? We're putting the Raptor Girl on Ryan's. 
Bro, get that shit out of here. That is not allowed. We'll have to do some cutting and make it. It looks terrible, sick. right? It's gonna look like a fraud driving around. What? A fraud? It's gonna look sick. Dude, dude fool nobody. That ain't a raptor. Well, I mean, if we throw Raptor wheels on it, it will be. It'll be closer. It'll I mean, look better. Honestly, if you put your rims and tires on his truck and that grill, done. <laughs> Jake's gonna ghost ride Raptor. that bitch into a pond. <laughs> 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 We finished it, it looks unbelievable. So we're in the front, we got an ADD front bumper with a 20 inch uh, cheap ass light bar in the middle. I don't know if I wanna go uh, with some pods down the road or if I'm gonna get a nicer light bar, I don't know. But for right now, it looks really good. So with the tire and wheel combo, I ended up going with the 17 inch 1552. If you guys know, Ken Block runs these on like all of his rally cars and he actually put them on his Raptor. So when we were at the Hoonigan Racing Headquarters, I saw that and like fell in love with it. So when I hit up Banker and I was like, hey man, I need to get some wheels and tires for, for the, my Raptor. He was like, dude, I got the perfect rim. Luckily we were thinking the same thing and it turned out absolutely amazing. So with the tire, we ended up going with the Neato Trail Grappler. I think it just gives it all around a meteor look. It's a 12 and a half inch tire, so it does widen it out a little bit uh, with the zero offset rim. And then we ended up going with the two and a half inch Ready Lift, which is kind of more of like a leveling kit. But with that, it kind of just picks up the front end. And and which was most important to me is I didn't want to mess with like the ride comfort that the Raptors have because the shocks are so good. So if you guys are like, oh, this wasn't a build, you didn't lift it up, you didn't even go with 37s. Like I still wanted to keep decent gas mileage, not lose a ton of horsepower and it's still comfortable to drive because you have the literally the best shocks in the game. So that's kind of everything. Oh, and then we finished it with just taking off the running boards. You don't have to, a lot of Raptor guys don't. Um, but why we did that is it just kind of cleans up the side of the truck and makes it look uh, a little bit bigger as well. So that's kind of everything, but yeah, it turned out amazing. Big shout out to Custom Offsets for coming through. I just, I reached out to them and they were like, hey, we're already on top of it. We've already reached out to some people because we saw uh, that you'd need some parts for it. And then they came and installed it. Uh, so big thanks to Banker and Fuller for coming through for the boys. It looks amazing, dude. It looks... Not as good as our truck, but amazing. So we just got out of the Archon truck. We're driving around, scoping for spots to film and grab shots of Ben's Raptor now that it's built, right? But it's freaking freezing. But you gotta do what you gotta do for the shots. Okay, so the truck is built at this point, and Ben's gonna take the truck through the field and see if he can make it. Jeez. Oh, no way, bro. No way. You, I thought you were so stuck right there. Power down, baby, power down. Power Are down. You? RPMs on us. Oh. <laughs> we are so stoked, <laughs> oh dude. Bro, we made it farther than I thought we would. Okay, hold on a second. It's Bruce Copy. Uh, we need a skid steer down here. Peter took us to the Raptor and he buried it out. It's pretty, you're not going to want to miss this shit. You gotta grab a stretch rope and go across the runway and pull them out, okay? So yeah, Ben is certified stuck. There's a very similar view to the video where he got stuck last time. At least he's got a little extra clearance on the bumpers. Uh, and he, he looks a little cooler, I guess. You know what the worst part about this? Now I'm in debt to Dave. <laughs> now I gotta be on his meme team, dude. I gotta make his memes for him now. Yeah, so Dave, crew is out here helping Ben get out and pretty soon <laughs> Banker and Fuller are also about to be in debt to Dave. <laughs> Dave's 
Some tracks is actually pretty fun. I'll make it another 10 feet, maybe. What's up? <laughs> yeah, you might as well. I might as well. All right, we'll go again. I do one more. We're going again. Yeah, that's uh that's about where that ends. Jake gets pissed off by uh, very few things because he prides himself on not caring about anything. Uh, but he gets absolutely triggered when he sees a stock F-150 with a Raptor grill in it. It'll just ruin his day. He's driving down the road and some random guy drives by and. and He's done. He's done. He's just pissed off the rest of the day. 